Korea is my second home. Uh, I love it here. The people have just been fantastic to me, both uh, with the team, my teammates. Now you're starting to feel the lack of energy coming from the fans that we kind of crave as players. We'll take it because we're getting to play baseball and, uh, and hopefully sooner rather than later we'll have spectators again. Uh, my name is Jamie Romack, um, Canadian guy in my fourth year playing here in the KBO. Been playing baseball a long time since I was a kid. I uh, love to play, um, so hopefully get a couple more years in. Um, have a wife and two kids back in uh, Canada. Um, I came back in the middle of March this year. My wife actually gave birth at the beginning of, of March to our second son. So I was fortunate enough to get home for that, um, spend some time with them, and then it uh, seemed like the world was kind of starting to shut down a little bit, and I tried to get back here as quickly as possible. You know, at the beginning, obviously, it started in China, and then it, it kind of spread throughout Asia, but you could start to see that this wasn't going to just be contained to Asia. It's going to happen everywhere in the world. So I started to wonder, like, where really am I safe? And Korea was doing a good job containing it. Um, they put a lot of protocol in place to, to make sure it didn't spread. And, um, you know, the team was doing a great job. They were, everyone was updating us with what was going on. I just, I felt comfortable about it. It ended up being a, a good decision because uh, obviously like Korea has kind of become the gold standard for how to deal with this situation while uh, things are still not good back home. You know, my, they're still, where I live at least, they're still on lockdown. And, and that means um, like you're strictly in your house. You're not even allowed to have um, family members from outside your home come over. You know, the, the grandparents of my, my kids come over and, and just kind of peer through the grass and wave, glass and, and wave at the grandkids. Um, so there, there's just really no contact. They're just really shutting it down. It's kind of an unfortunate thing and I'm, hopefully they'll turn the corner sooner rather than later and people can get back to work safely and life will continue on. I'm just so grateful and thankful for this season and uh, can't wait to do it again next year. Ash, can you say fighting? Fighting. Come some done. Yeah, this is uh, my fourth year in uh, an area called Songo in, in Incheon here. And uh, it's a very lively area. There's always people outside, lots of bars and shops and um, Central Park and whatnot. So I'm used to a lot of uh, energy and, and liveliness in that area. And when I first got here, the streets were very quiet, even though all the businesses were open. And, um, you know, being that that's, uh, you know, about a month and a half now, you could just kind of see day by day, week by week, it gradually started to open up again. Um, and people, I think, got more confident in what was going on and how it was being contained. And, uh, you know, created a great job with their testing and their the tracing, the fact that like, you can look where you live and see if there's been a case. Um, in fact, when someone gets infected, it's like a mass notice that gets sent out. So kind of aware of your surroundings and, uh, People were careful, but it's starting to kind of slowly come back to life. Th things are good. Um, you know, once we finally got our, our start date, I, I kind of wanted to ramp things up a little bit physically and um, start to treat these exhibition games like real games, um, go through my regular routine as if it was a, a game day during the season. You know, we've been playing each other and practicing basically every day. That can get monotonous at times, and just to see another uniform across the field kind of gets the adrenaline going a little bit. And then, as I said, the sense of the season is coming um, gives you that kind of competitive feeling. So it feels good to, uh, to get going again.
grateful, to be honest. I think if you look at what's going on in the world right now, um, for us to be able to get back out there and be able to um, salvage our season, go out there and play a full season, even if it means going a little bit later, and, uh, and offering people enjoyment and entertainment and hope in their lives that they've been all cooped up and uh, not just in Korea, you know, people are, around the world are interested in watching this. They're starving for it. Um, it's a big opportunity for Korean baseball, for sure. And, uh, you know, hopefully sooner rather than later as this continues to evolve in Korea in a positive way, maybe we can get some fans back in here safely. Yeah, easy. Korean series, winning the Korean series in, in 2018. There's just really nothing like winning a championship, everything that goes into it. Um, you know, we start, our training starts at the end of January. And when we won that championship, it was the middle of November. So when you look at the season as a whole, um, that's a lot of baseball. That's a lot of coming to the field every day and pushing yourself and competing and doing what you need to do to take care of your body and coming together as a team and to rally and to fight to the end in front of all these fans and on this big stage to win it was incredible. Um, it's a great feeling and uh, hopefully we can do that again. Korea is my second home. Uh, I love it here. The people have just been fantastic to me, both uh, with the team, my teammates, yeah, it's just, it's been a great place for my family and I uh, to grow. And, and when, it's, when it's done and, and we're back home in Canada, we'll have a lot of really fond memories of our, our time here. The world is, is shrinking um, in terms of how interconnected we are. And, um, you know, the only way to really get past this, I think, is going to be together and uh, united. And, and uh, you know, I just wish everyone good health and uh, happiness in tough times. And uh, it will pass. And, and when it does, we'll come back and get back to life and, and uh, carry on.